Film friends, hi. Welcome to episode two of the series titled Running a Production Company. My name's Brett. I run said production company. It's nice to have you here. In today's episode, you come with us on an independent production during the filming of a forward-thinking TV series that teaches youth about endangered animals and how we can preserve the future so that they stay alongside us for a long time. During the behind the scenes, I'll explain a little bit more what my method to the madness was when I was on a time crunch and how I optimized the performance so that we could give back quality to the production company, having them call us back in the long run. Being a DP is one of the many jobs you get to become good at when you run a production company. And over the last four years, I've realized that utilizing the light given in a room is the best way to optimize your performance. For example, this interview right now is just a window diffused with an eight by eight. Behind me, I have a pocket light practical and a little moon practical and that's it. That's the setup so I can get in, get out, get on with my day and be happy with it. So it's very useful to have an idea of where you're going to go with the simplicity, but make it as contrasting as possible. Two very important steps when it comes to pre-production when I act as a DP is understanding the gear that I'm using and understanding the location that we're shooting at. And so in this case, we were shooting on the Sony FS5 Mark I and Mark II, which I had used before. So that box was ticked. I knew what I was getting into and I was excited to get back with those cameras. So we went and did a location scout, met the owners of the home, we took pictures of every room that we were gonna be filming in. So we understood where the windows were, where the practicals were in the house, what type of practicals we had access to and stuff like that. So we understood kind of the mood, the contrast and what we were gonna be dealing with when we came into this household to this set to light it. And once the gear list was checked off, we understood the location we were shooting at. We knew what kind of lighting techniques we were gonna use. The only thing left to do was to go and shoot it. Good morning, welcome to set. Today we have four setups to get through. This is the last day of filming with Eric and I. We have a two-man crew, Eric and I, so we're gonna try to be as useful and versatile as we can be with our time. So come along for the ride. We kind of sat on an angle like that. I think we might, we might play with that idea. We'll set up our cameras, we'll set up our mic, we'll get uh, that all staged. We know where Adele's going to be. You're going to be sitting on the railing, kind of hugging the railing. And once we get that set up and we look at it in camera, we'll have an idea of what lights we might need. So we want to introduce you to our lead actor. This is Adele. Adele, you want to say hello to everyone? Hi. It takes great actors to make great productions, so make sure you find great actors. Luckily, we found one of those, right? You're kicking butt, hey? I hope so. <laughs> we are on episode 21, scene one, take one, Alpha Bravo common marker. Go for Adele. Okay, so we wrapped up our exterior world setup for the start of the day. Not a huge fan of the exterior world setups because you kind of have to let the natural light control your shadows and your keys and, and what you shape. So we didn't have much of that this morning, which was also a uh, positive because we had a lot of softness and so our talent wasn't overexposed or, or um, nuclear, as we would say. So we're pretty happy with how that went. But now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna actually control some lighting and really work with our key side and shadow side. Shooting with a smaller crew, in this case a two-man crew, there's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons. Cons being less hands on deck, pros being less minds on deck for less distraction. We can focus on exactly what we want to do. This set has been really nice because the homeowners, Reg and Carolyn, have been helping us a lot with set deck as well as craft services. They've been feeding us too, so they've been very generous. A focus point with our lighting has been really enhancing what's provided. So. Windows are a great key source. We try to enhance the key side. We stick our subject in that frame, knowing that the key side is gonna be our natural light. The shadow side is gonna be the negative side. So we'll dim the shadow side, which has already been provided to us. We'll enhance the key side. And that really allows us to only use one, one key with a soft box 
and the rest of our work is practical and panels kind of filling the background. And it's been a smooth process doing that and it's been fast as well because we don't have a lot of time. We don't want to work for 10 hour days. We want to get our episodes wrapped up at a decent time. So that's what we've been going with and it's been working well. Until next time, friends. Bye. There we are. 24 setups in seven days completed. We've walked away with a lot of memories and we're going home with more knowledge than we came with. Speaking of going home, I got to pack all of this up still. And so I'm going to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode.